Automotive Group agrees to pay $3.38 million to settle a Federal Trade Commission lawsuit for charging, get this, illegal fees and discriminating against black and Latino customers. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Here's why this is such an important story to follow and why we're sharing it today. Remember those proposed FTC rules that dealers didn't want implemented and the NADA didn't want implemented? This story is a foreshadow for what's to come. Passport Automotive Group agreeing to pay $3.38 million to settle a Federal Trade Commission lawsuit filed against the dealership group is huge because it's largely a fine for charging illegal fees. The FTC says they also discriminated against Black and Latino customers. The Maryland Group, along with its president, Everett Helmuth, and Vice President Jay Klein, together will pay this fine to refund the customers affected by these unlawful practices. In its complaint, the FTC alleged Passport advertised certified, reconditioned, or inspected cars at specific prices, but added extra certification, reconditioning, or inspection fees it falsely claimed customers were required to pay. For example, the FTC cited one case in which a vehicle advertised for $24,050 sold for $26,440 because of an illegal add-on fee. Let me say that again, an extra $2,390 in illegal fees. We've been telling you guys for some time now that dealers are charging you fake fees and that you don't need to pay them. You don't need the FTC watchdogs working overtime when all you have to do is stick up for yourself. Yeah. Refuse to pay fake fees. Just say no. Stand your ground. Charging illegal made-up fees is not all that Passport did. The FTC also said Passport charged black customers about $291 more and Latino customers about $235 more in interest than white customers. The agency also alleged black customers on average paid an extra fee 24% of the time, while Latino customers paid an extra fee 42% of the time compared with white customers. The commission is continuing its crackdown on junk fees and discriminatory practices that harm black and Latino consumers, said Samuel Levine, director of FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, in a statement. Let me say that again. The commission is continuing its crackdown on junk fees. It's time for everyone to stand their ground and refuse to pay fake fees. In addition to having to refund nearly $3.4 million to customers, the FTC also is requiring Passport to establish a fair lending program to ensure it stops discriminating against certain customers. The program will have a provision requiring each Passport dealership to either not include a financing markup or to charge the same markup rate to all customers. The FTC said Passport claimed it had a policy to prevent discrimination, but it did not monitor or enforce it. Yeah. Or didn't implement it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the FTC said it would further prohibit Passport from misrepresenting the cost or terms to buy, lease, or finance a car, or whether a fee or charge is optional. The agency also would require express informed consent from customers before they are charged any fees. Are any of you car buyers out there planning on consenting to paying extra fees? I sure hope not. Nobody should ever voluntarily consent to paying extra fees, and there are big changes coming for how car dealers will operate in the future. I'm going to take this moment to share an email I got from an MPG preferred customer about XCAPS who turned into an ISR, independent sales rep. He wrote to us from South Bend, Indiana. His first email reads, I bought the MPG Extreme and have been using it in my 2016 Lexus RX 350 six cylinder with 85,000 miles. Haven't noticed a 20% increase in MPG. Could it be I'm not going to achieve that level? I have run five to six tanks of gas using it. Starting at 25 MPG, went for 26 to 27.7 MPG average. You see, folks, it can take a bit of treated fuel to go through some of your vehicles for the ECMs to make a proper adjustment. So not every vehicle shows an immediate result like my F-150 truck did. So here's what happened next. On Sunday morning, I got another email. This time, it starts with a little excitement. Update! I had a long trip on Friday, 203 miles one way, could not believe what I was seeing. Started at 25 miles per gallon and watched it slowly climb to 32.5 miles per gallon. A 30% increase. MPG extreme believer now. Yeah. I just signed up to be an independent sales rep. Jim Carter, South Bend, Indiana. Thanks for that, Jim. Now, you know what? There's three ways for you to buy X caps. Preferred customer option number one is 10 X caps for $29.95 plus shipping. 
Option two is 30X caps for $59.95 plus shipping or wholesale pricing, the cheapest way to get them, 100X caps for $199.95 plus shipping. And if you buy the larger pack and aren't 100% satisfied with your results, I'll buy them from you and we'll sample the product out to other viewers here on the channel. I give you my personal guarantee. If you have any questions about the X cap and how it can boost your fuel economy in your vehicle, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X cap, email us at kevinthomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database so we know what works and we'll promise you a straight up honest answer. And sometimes you have to be patient like Jim Carter was. Yeah. Helping the average vehicle owner like you is what we've been doing for 13 straight years here at The Homework Guy. All right, if you're new here at the channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to the family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. And thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, The Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.